Next question is from Triana Alonzo. Should foam rolling be done before or after a workout? How often and what are the benefits? It depends what? on the workout, I would say. So foam rolling has benefits because it can improve movement patterns. But if you don't strengthen uh, and, and do correctional exercise to prevent the bad patterns from coming back, then it's a, a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I like to foam roll before correctional uh, exercise just to give me that better movement pattern. It, uh, if I'm doing heavy lifting, I like foam rolling after. At the end. At the uh, end. I actually prefer that. And mainly, too, to get me in sort of that parasympathetic state. Like, it, it, I, I use it as a tool to kind of calm my body down and also, like, focus on areas that have been really restrictive in my exercises. And I want to address them while, you know, I, I, they're already warm. They've already gone through, uh, you know, the workout and uh, to get me to kind of calm down and then uh, to also address anything that I can improve upon going into then the next workout the next day. I like talking about the foam role because it was something that um, I didn't use at all for the first five years or so as a trainer uh, until I, I started getting uh, knee pain. Uh, I started getting knee pain and uh, found out like how tight uh, my IT was, right? And then I started to foam roll it and saw a huge difference when I would foam roll and then go play basketball. And that was like, then I was married to it. Then like anytime before I trained legs or did anything, I was constantly foam rolling, foam rolling. And then I was introduced into mobility, and training w with that on a regular basis before I would, and then mm -hmm. I completely eliminated the foam roll. Yeah, so you didn't need it anymore. After I that. the only time, and every once in a while, you'll see see me pull ours out because we have them here. And if I do that, it's because I overreached in a, a training session quite a bit, typically in legs. You know, I was going real heavy on squats or chasing a PR, and then the next day I'm so sore that my gait is off. Mm. I'm kind of limping a little bit, or you know, you got that that after like hard training session of legs, your walk where you look like you have a stick up your ass. Like if I'm walking like that, then I will get down and I will foam roll to relieve that to get me walking normal again. Mm -hmm. But then I'll just do mobility stuff before I train. I I like that is the only time I use a foam. I use it as a band aid right now. Yeah. Because it doesn't, and that's all it really is. And that was the 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 part that I was missing when I was using it in the first, you know, part of my or the back half of my career when I started to use it all the time before basketball. It's like it became a thing that I was like, oh, I have to do this oh, yeah. before I lift. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have to do this before legs. I have to do this before basketball because it helped, and I noticed a difference from it. But what I didn't realize I was doing was I wasn't addressing the root cause. There was there was an issue with my feet. And my hips that was causing this constant tightness in my IT that mm -hmm. I wasn't addressing the mobility in my hips. I wasn't addressing the mobility in my ankles and my feet and the, the connection that I had, my feet, my foot strength. Yeah. None of those things were being addressed. I was just constantly, what because of those things, I was getting this really tight IT that was hurting. Like, it felt like a knife in the side of my thigh all the time to the point where I ended up getting bursitis in my hips. So I was constantly like, foam rolling to fix that, but it was never fixing it. It was just relieving Temporary it temporarily. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I got into mobility and I started to really spend time doing 90-90 and combat stretch and lizard with rotation and doing uh, scorpions and like really focusing on my uh, mobility drills. Then it got to the point where I completely eliminated foam roll. It's yeah. like useless to me now, yeah. unless it's just a temporary relief. Absolutely. If it's used in conjunction with a correctional exercise program to promote better movement so that you can then get into- yeah, Unlock better movement. Yeah. Better mobility positions and more connection, then the foam roller is beautifully used. If it's used as a Band-Aid, it's really no different than uh, taking Advil because you bang your head against the wall and never stopping the banging the head against the wall. And that's true. I did the same thing, Adam. I, I found it. I used it. I'm like, wow, this works. And then I had to use it all the time, never really solving the problem. And then what ends up happening is slowly over time, because now you're training through the problem rather than correcting the problem, the problem slowly ends up getting worse. This much foam rolling worked before. Now I got to do this much more. Now all of a sudden it's not working like it used to. So you want to solve the issue. So I would not use it on its own as a solution, but definitely in combination with mobility exercises uh, to solve the root cause, then the foam roller is absolutely brilliant. And that's why I like to use it at the beginning of correctional exercise uh, workouts. But if I'm doing a regular workout at the end, I love it. At the end, I love foam rolling areas that might have been a little overworked in my workout. Like if I did, if I did for example, mm -hmm. let's say I did a heavy deadlift workout and uh, I really pushed it and I could feel the erector spinae muscles of my lower back or 
a little bit tight and I'm like, wow, I, I pushed it a little too hard. At the end of the workout, I'll foam roll that area. Or let's say I did a lot of pull-ups and I feel my, you know, my teres major muscle, which is at the top uh, underneath your armpit kind of area. And I'm like, ooh, that feels a little bit overworked. Then I'll foam roll that at the end of my workout. Or if I did heavy rows and my, you know, my forearm muscles uh, are a little bit tight, you know, then I'll use a foam roller or deep tissue massage. That That's how I like to use it with, uh, with traditional workouts. But if you use it with correctional exercise, then it becomes a very valuable uh, tool.